In this lesson, we're going to add some cool licks to that funky Hendrix chord bass jam that we picked up in the last lesson. Let's give this thing a listen, and then I'll come back and tell you how to play it. Let's dig in. Hey there, John here with the Blues Guitar Institute, and this is your Tuesday Blues, where we take cool acoustic blues concepts and we break them down into small bite-sized chunks every single Tuesday, and that's what we're about to do here in Tuesday Blues number 196. Now, we're going to pick up from where we left off in lesson number 197. I'll give you a quick recap of what that sounded like. It's this cool Hendrix chord-based groove. If you want to find out why you call that the Hendrix chord, then definitely check out 195 and also pick up that rhythm, that funky strumming, all that cool stuff. And we're going to take that and add some licks in there. Here's the first lick that we're going to add. So this is coming straight out of that train whistle micro lick territory right here on the B of the first string and then here on the eighth fret. That's a G on the second string. So what we're gonna do is start out by picking the open first string, then immediately come down and pick the B on that first string, seventh fret. Then the eighth fret, second string, give that a little slight push out of tune. Then the open first string followed by the open second string. And I've mentioned this a lot on these two state blues lessons, but this ending in the open strings, is a great tactical thing to do because now we're free to move our hand and stay in time. We've got some musical time and space here to move to this position here where we're gonna finish out this lick. So head down to the second fret on the third string, this A note, and finish with this little tag. So we go A, G, and then down on the E here on the fourth string. and let those top two strings ring. Now let's move on to the second lick. What we're gonna do is alter the rhythm bit just really slightly. So we're gonna still start out on our Hendrix chord. And that's the slight variation. I wanna do this little move here where we're going to do something a little different. So we're gonna go E to the D, then back to the E. And now we're ready for this lick. And this one's super simple, but really cool. Actually, it can be deceptively tricky for you. You're gonna play the open first string on the off beat here. Slide up on the third string from the A note up to the B. You really just wanna hear the B. You don't want to do a slide where you hear all the notes along the way. And you don't really want to focus on the A note on the second fret of the third string. You want to just slide really quickly into that B on the third string. And we're just going to do that little move. And that's altering. So we're doing a little string skipping picking there, altering between the first string and the third string. Then we're going to finish off with that same little move from the last leg. It sounds really cool when you get it in musical time and when you can play it at a brighter tempo and just kind of let that thing fall right into the pocket. Now, these are just a couple of ideas, a couple of quick ideas that uh, may get you going. I really want to encourage you to take this stuff. We've now got eight full measures of this Hendrix chord based groove and you can mix and match these little bits. So we picked up this little tail ending and then this one. And now we've got this and this. 
those four little blocks, little lick blocks, are a lot of information. If you get them down, you can mix and match and really just start jamming on this stuff. And I bet if you do, once you get comfortable with this stuff, if you keep jamming on it, you're going to come up with some stuff of your very own. And that's when things start to get a whole heck of a lot of fun. So I'm going to play out by playing through this thing top to bottom. Let's give it a listen. All right, have some fun with this. Again, take these things as just little nuggets, little ideas, and really expand on it with your own sound. If you dig this and you want to take things further, then definitely check out premium membership with the Blues Guitar Institute. Just head over to bluesguitarinstitute.com slash premium and sign up today. We've got a super cool package of lessons, of courses, of great things to get you started in the blues and great things to keep you carrying on. So definitely check that out at bluesguitarinstitute.com slash premium. Till next week, practice smart and play on.